Why hello. How are all of you people who made it early to the stream doing today? Hopefully good. Hopefully wonderful. Maybe even stupendous. Who knows? It's up to you guys how your day goes. My day so far, it's going well. I was a little sleepy. I made uh, some mustard cream pasta earlier, which wasn't terrible. And then I got a little sleepy, read some Pokemon Adventures manga, uh, did some work on Super Flat World, and now it's time to work on the Hardcore World once again. But welcome, everybody. Frick, I sent you a song. Do you know the song that I sent you? Also, hello to everybody. Poopy Floopy, welcome back to the stream. And of course, everybody else as well. Hopefully you're all doing spectacular without uh, any further ado, bah, 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 we are going to uh, keep building because, you know, that's what I have to do. It's unfortunate, but it is true. I must build without stopping forever. That's this, all that this will ever be. God, I really wish I had this much cyan stained glass in my other world. It would make my life so much easier. Mm, but I don't. Oh, well. Uh, I'm odd. Why? Why do you think I'm odd? You just... Uh, what does that mean? What do you, what do you mean I'm, I'm odd right now? Why? What did I do that's odd? I was just asking, I was just asking you a question and you, you hit me with the you're being odd right now. And I don't understand. What could I possibly have done to make me odd? Uh, toss that on the ground. Give more of these. And then I will put this back. Where is it? It's up here. I just grabbed this. Oh, okay, there it is. I was like, I could have sworn that I just grabbed it. Because you're you aren't wearing a funky dad shirt. I'm just wearing a black shirt. You know, I, I I'm trying to go through my whole wardrobe at some point in my life. I can't just wear the same like two shirts every single day of my life. I gotta put in a little more uh d diversity into my own outfits. That way I could maybe inspire others to also wear a variety of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> Hopefully you're doing spectacular. I mean, you made it here of all places in the uh, wild, wild west of the internet. So, I mean, you've made at least one good choice for today. Has anybody gone out to eat recently? The only times I've gone out to eat recently have been to... Uh, I, don't, I don't really consider it going out to eat. because It was just to a bar to get some bar food. And I really like bar food. I don't really like bars. So I'm not a huge fan of alcohol. But I do very much like bar food. Like really greasy, fried potatoes, burgers, uh, deep fried pickles. They're all spectacular, you know? You're digging a hole by hand? Ryan, don't do that. Use TNT. It's spectacular. Discord SP is dying. Uh, I'm sure we'll get it fixed at some point. If it's too much right now and it's it's become unplayable, then stop playing it and do something else. You know, <laughs> there are other things to do. You you do not have to be like me and play Minecraft literally all the time. Unless of course it's your job as well. Then power to you. Keep playing. You know, it's it's awesome. It's a great game, great hobby, career. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but for right now, I'm enjoying it. We should keep running around adding like these little like pseudo reeds everywhere. You know, I don't know what else we'd call them. TNT duping, I can't get much TNT. Okay, well then you're screwed. Keep digging by hand. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't take you too long. But yeah, you don't really have many options to uh, mess around with if you're on bedrock. That is just a little unfortunate for you. Is not, but I have to. Uh, you don't have to though. That's that's where you're wrong it's not a requirement though you know alien animals for this planet um yes they're gonna be mostly space whales but the space whales are coming later i need to do all of the interior deco first and there is just heckin loads of it so if you want to see me place down prismarine walls and warped uh fences my god today is your lucky day that's what's gonna be happening pretty much non-stop <laughs> When is this coming out? I don't know. I've been working on it for like two months and it's not even remotely close to being done. So not soon is my guess. 
Oh, this one's gonna be extra tall. Look at that. Whoa, a real fancy one right there. <laughs> is, I mean, is this a Nordic project called the Valhalla project? Yeah, sure. If you're on when uh, I pop on, you can always show me what you're working on. I'm, of course, need to uh, design more buildings for the uh, wheat field area. Should probably put in some more windmills, but like, you know, not the exact same windmill, copy paste it everywhere. Have it be like a little bit different make a couple different uh designs which could be a fun thing to do either later in today's stream or just a different day i again don't have to stream it but i think it would be fun also just landing on the walls after the first attempt i think that would also be quite fun but that's probably me holding myself back what happens when i lose interest in youtube or minecraft i'll just do something else i'm a multifaceted individual i can i can accomplish other things you know i I have done things in my life other than just play Minecraft, but this is really fun. So I'm going to keep doing it while it's fun. And if it's ever like, oh, this is this is miserable. I hate every moment of my existence doing this. Uh, then I would just do something else, you know? Uh, I'm not going to force myself to keep streaming, keep making YouTube videos if it's just not in the cards for me. But for right now, it's fun. So I'm going to keep doing it. But I don't know if it's going to last forever because like it could be something where I'm like, ah, this is boring. I'd rather sit in an office and then like type in an Excel spreadsheet. And if that happens, then I'll play a paradox game for any of you that play paradox games. Good joke for the rest of you. You're like, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. And for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Frank Wynn got a fancy pizza. Anybody else got to eat recently? Get anything delicious? Or are you like me and in general don't really go out to eat all that much? Except occasionally stop in and get bar food at like 1130 at night because it's the only place that's open anymore. You know, that's the disappointing thing. That's why I find myself eating food at bars <laughs> because everything else is closed. It's not even it's not even my first choice. It's just the only choice left to me. CK3 for you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> See, these are the types of jokes that I pick up from hanging out with Sam because Sam plays uh, Paradox games. You know, he's more of the uh, spreadsheet individual than I am. Personally, I find that to be horrible. I'd much rather play a game and just do terrible at it for 100 hours in a row without ever improving, which is why I kind of want to stream Elden Ring again because it's a lot of fun to just see chat complain. Oh, you keep dying. Oh, oh, get better. Ooh, have a better build. Use my build. My build is the best build in the whole world. No one, no one has ever had a better build in Elden Ring than me. You should build like me. And I'm like, nah, I'm just going to take this stick and just like beat the shit out of these random soldiers until I can figure out how to dodge. <laughs> you Spotify account to listen to a bad song you sing? You didn't have a Spotify account? I didn't want you to listen to it i was just like have you heard this song before i'm i'm sorry that i offended you by just trying to have some level of musical camaraderie and i apologize for that saying happy birthday for you to a different individual or to you because it is in fact your birthday jewels you have food allergies so generally eat at home that's very fair do you enjoy cooking at least or is just food in general just something that you uh, find misery in? You're like, God, it's inconvenient. I hate cooking and no one can cook for me because I'm going to die if I eat their food because I have these allergies. Is your birthday today? Well, happy birthday, Jules. Everybody in chat, can you say happy birthday to Jules? It's not every day of the year that it's Jules' birthday, but it is today. So it's a special day. It was the best fast food restaurant? Well, it used to be McDonald's, but then McDonald's got a little... A little full of itself, a little high on the horse, you know, as we say in my neck of the woods. And uh, they started increasing their prices without actually increasing the quality of the food. And it's like, learn your place, McDonald's. That's not what you're here for. You're here to just be cheap garbage that I like. I don't I don't hate, but like, it's not it's not spectacular. You shouldn't be charging me a ton of money for it. You know, I don't feel like that's not even that hot of a take. But what is the best fast food all around? I don't know. I kind of like Taco Bell because it's the right level of it's shitty food, but also it is not like that terrible, but it's also like pretty cheap, you know? 
like a burrito from Taco Bell. I'm like, hey, I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. I know I'm not spending a lot of money, but I feel like I'm at least getting value out of the dollar that I put in, you know? I live with my parents at the moment, so they cook most of the time. Are they good at cooking? Also, you said that you cook sometimes, but do you enjoy cooking? <laughs> Life was better when I hadn't heard that song. Frick, every time I talk to you, you're just getting mad at me about things that I feel like are not my fault. I'm sorry you didn't like the song, but generally when somebody suggests... I, I didn't even suggest this song to you. I don't even know why I'm going down this route. I'm not... I don't need to defend the suggestion of the song because I didn't suggest that you listen to it. I just asked if you had listened to it. You could have just said no and then never played it. That's on you. That's not even that's not even my fault. You know, I was just trying to have a friendly conversation. You know, cooking show should be fine once I'm on my own. Sounds good. I love cooking personally. That's why I do it sometimes. In addition to the fact that I need to eat food or I will starve to death. That's kind of a bigger one most of the time, but I also do enjoy it, you know. Everyone likes to get pretty close to 69. It's not a terrible number to get to as far as likes go on a stream. Okay, let's build up from here. Up, 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 uh. I need to go a little bit higher. Ooh. There we go. Sometimes it looks a little out of place, you know? You made pizza? What do you put on your pizza? For me, it's generally cheese, cheese... Sometimes pepperoni, more cheese, and more cheese with, of course, like a marinara sauce. Or we flip that on its head. No marinara sauce. We still put in the cheese, the cheese, and the cheese. But instead of pepperoni, we're throwing in chicken. And also, instead of marinara sauce, we got barbecue sauce. Just a barbecue chicken pizza. It's a question of question. The last earthbender is just like much better than the others. I, you're, you're making a joke saying the last earthbender is better? Because I would have to assume so, or you just you're trying to plead ignorance here that you don't know what we're talking about. The last Earthbender would be one hell of a show, but it, as far as I know, it's not a show that exists in the world in which I live, so I can't I can't talk to you about it because it's not a real thing. I'm still mad about you because of my dream. Sorry, I'll try to be nicer. Again, just something outside of my control. I I didn't do anything. <laughs> Hi Ruby, how's it going? <laughs> Some form of structure in the dimension. Yeah, but like, I'm working on the foliage first. We, uh, first things first, second things second, third things third. You know, we're trying to go in a sort of chronological order here. We're not putting the cart per se before the horse. It just makes it too difficult to play at that, at that pace. Wait, I also need more rockets. But we'll see. Just clicking air for real, don't bully me. I'm just trying to make a joke. I'm not bullying you. I, I don't care if you said it wrong. Whether on whether you typed in uh, Earth or wait, selected air. What do you mean? You misclicked air. Did you just mean you mistyped? You were just like, oh, I was just thinking there's air, earth, fire, water, and I accidentally typed in earth. What do you mean click though? That's the thing that's confusing me. Okay, all of these should become walls. Who's been spoofing your vids? I'm all for it. Can't wait for the next. Why, thank you, Wumpy. Um, I appreciate the super chat, and I appreciate that you like the videos. As far as when the next one's gonna come out, though, it's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit. I got, like, a lot of work to do. I remind you of a college tutor? In what capacity? I don't believe I've taught you anything, Ruby. I've tried to teach you things like respect my goodness no, i'm just kidding um I, I don't know do i do i do i teach you guys anything maybe how to have a little bit of mirth in your life not take things too seriously just asking about the structure no i mean i know what you're talking about as far as like putting in houses and stuff and like other like structures within the structure yeah, but it's probably not going to happen for like another like week or two because it's going to take a lot to just finish this section, you know? Excuse me, what mods use for building stuff? I guess that's fair, you know? It's pretty good. Can you split the new vid in half? I could if I wanted it to be terrible, but I don't. So I'm not going to do that. I like having my videos be the beginning, middle, and end of a project. I don't like 
what am I looking for? Rockets. Um, I don't like having it just be, oh, I was working on this thing. And instead of telling you a full story, I'm just gonna uh, stop telling you the story. Bye. Come, come back in the future. I prefer having like full, you know, full pieces, like fully completed art pieces for people to look at. I don't want it to be like some sort of episodic thing. That's more of what the uh, flatline SMP is because it's playing with other people and it's a lot more chill. Uh, this series is more of like, here is my art project. I have finished it. Do you like my art project? Uh, that's why they're not necessarily episodes as much as they are just individual things that I was working on. Uh, Owls, congratulations on finally getting by you. How many uh, wishes did that end up taking? Also, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Here, we'll put more reeds over here. This is going to be a, a kind of reedy day. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it's what's happening. So you got you to gotta buckle up. If you're not prepared... I mean, you should be, because it's what's going to be happening a lot. Uh, this is something I should work on off stream because it's just like so tedious. It's going to be something I'm working on for days and days and days, unfortunately. At least I can acknowledge the fact that it's going to take me the rest of my life to finish this. But it'll be worth it. Then there's only, what, 19 more of these afterwards. I'm doing good, Sam. How are you doing? Project in England is just 16 to 18 education. Someone that works at a college. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. How many sections do I have left of this? Like 85 to 90 percent left. Most of them. The one thing that is a nice upside is when we get all the way down here to this section, there's not a ton of flat areas like this to actually build plants on. Like, these whole uh, regions over here are not, like, this more cyan-colored stuff, so there aren't going to be any plants put on these. So it's going to be a lot easier. I do kind of want to put in, um, like, vines and stuff in the caves, you know, fill that with kelp and seaweed and tropical fish or axolotls and whatnot. So there's still going to be decoration stuff going on there, but it's just a different kind of vibe down there. I'm trying to have, like... Uh, like two or three different biomes involved in our new dimension if i was doing this in creative mode my god it would be so much faster <laughs> mario by mario welcome to the stream uh there's a first time for everything and this is your first time being here then it is a good day for you whether you realize it or not we're doing spectacular things thanks for the stream and just keep building because it's going to take a very long time uh there are no plans other than build because it's just, there's too much building that needs to be done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so true, though. It takes a long time to place these things because there's just a lot of things to place. And then also at the same time, I have to be uh, looking over, perusing through the chat, seeing what people are saying, responding to the things that are interesting to respond to, ignoring the messages that are just absolute dog water, you know, and trying to have fun in the meantime. <laughs> And after you're basically done? Yeah, after the, like, plant decoration stuff, we're pretty much essentially done with the whole project. But it is just going to be a lot of uh, days of sitting down and just building plants. Because the plants are very plant-like. They're very uh, foliage-y, you know? Leaves, as far as the eye can see. And stems, that as well. Those are cool. But yeah, <laughs> The other thing that I want to add in is more of these shelf mushrooms and these glowy, like, glob things. As you can see, this whole area up here is kind of done. So that's, like, what a finished-looking section will kind of be like. Again, this whole area is just going to be incredibly cyan. That's the theme of the whole thing. This is the theme of the whole thing. Uh, Meadow, I'm doing spectacular. How are you doing today? I need to read more books. Chad, do you have any suggestions for me? Just in general, all of you as one collective body that build the whale? Yeah, I built the whales. We have... Um... Can I... Let's see... Um... All... 
Da -da -da. I'll show you one of the whoops. I'll show you one of the schematics of the whales. I need to go to the right spot though. Figure Here's one of the whales that we're going to be building later on. As you can see, that's also kind of big. So it's gonna take a while to finish this, but after we finish all the plants, we're gonna put several space whales going around the whole thing and um then we'll be done with this project and hopefully it'll be an interesting one <gasps> 60 fix have a very lovely day thank you for popping in once again it's a very plant like i mean that's how i would describe them they're very they're very planty quite quite plentiful what kind of genres am i interested in for literature <laughs> anything relatively cerebral in the storytelling uh aspect of it i don't really care that much for the genre i just want it to be something that unfolds in a very interesting and thought-provoking manner it could be a thought-provoking romance I, I don't particularly care i just want it to like make me think you know or be relatively introspective this is one of my favorite things about literature Goodbye, Monica. Have a very lovely day. Unless you're saying goodbye to somebody else, then goodbye to other person. <laughs> Are you ever going to play in this again? Oh, in this sphere? No, absolutely not. I don't go back to like any of the things I've built. I'm just too busy. I'm too busy building the other things. I don't get to like chill and play around. <laughs> I just I just have to keep building. Dun, 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 dun. Readings by Catherine M. Valent. How? How? That's not even, that doesn't even make sense. That's the question I was going to say. Um, what is it about, roughly? Like, brief synopsis. If you say it's about Hollow Knight, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> it's actually a Hollow Knight fan fiction. It's really cool. No, you trust me. Trust me, bro. You just got to give it a try. <laughs> What gives me motivation? The fact that, like, I need to eat food at some point is pretty motivating, you know? It's a really good, it's a really good way to be motivated. Just to be like, oh, I want to eat food tomorrow. So I need money to eat food. So I should record something. So that way I can bundle it into a video, uh, send it out onto the interweb. People will watch it. Advertisers will pay money to put their ads in front of the video. So people are forced to see the products that they're trying to sell. Uh, and for that service that I am providing them, they'll give me some money in return and I can use that money to eat food. That's like a pretty huge motivator right there for me. I don't know what motivates most other people, but like not starving, huge. I don't know if you've ever tried it as a, as a motivation tool. I personally think it works out, uh, wonderfully, you know? There's a reason why uh, we don't universally give food to everyone, yet we have the ability to do such a thing. Because hunger, very strong motivator, you know? We weren't gathering the resources for build or building the project? Uh, designing the project. So, neither of those things. My favorite thing is doing all of the design in creative mode. But um, as of right now, I don't think creative mode is the more popular way to make like Minecraft content. But maybe one day I'll uh, get into doing things more in just creative mode and then make like a creative mode series of like, oh, I designed a whole world. And then we'll do uh, different episodes about different regions. Should be pretty straightforward. Wouldn't be shocked if anybody else has done it. Um, but I think it would be a fun thing to put my own spin on, you know? I don't really dislike the uh, building or gathering resources. I just prefer the designing aspect of it. Like that's the most fun thing for me because that's when I get to be the most creative. It's when I'm coming up with ideas, you know? The stream is suffering. I'm not suffering, not yet. Maybe in like 40 minutes I'll be suffering. Else that probably means money is a W. <laughs> Sure. I mean, if that's the, like, narrow framework in which you want to see the world, yeah. <laughs> I suppose. Sure. Is extremely purple prose? Do you mean 
You mean something else, or is this just a term that I'm unfamiliar with? It's a semi-meta, retro-futuristic sci-fi. It's sort of a story about storytelling slash filmmaking. It's all about the people and events surrounding a filmmaker who disappeared. Okay. You suffer after you stream at least once? That's because life is suffering. Just wait. I need to put this recommendation somewhere where I'll look at it later. Uh, I also want to see exactly what Frick said in response. Oh, rude. Okay, sick. <laughs> Glad you liked it. Chat, are there any other games that you would want me to play on stream as a mix into the repertoire that is Minecraft? Uh, I know I'm also playing Hollow Knight. I know most people don't care about it, but I'm going to keep playing it on stream because I think it's a fun game, uh, which is generally how streams go. But if there's a suggestion by somebody that's like, hey, you should play, you know, like Elden Ring, and it's a game that I am actually interested in playing, and maybe it'll work out, you know? Warframe? No, I'm not interested in ever playing Warframe. I've seen people play it. It doesn't really look like my style of game. So I'm sorry about that one. Try again in the future. Play Mario? You realize that, that at this point is just such a large franchise that it could be like any genre of game. What Mario in particular do you mean? Terraria? Maybe when Sam gets back. We could play... Uh, Terraria on stream. Terraria, Terraria, the Terrarian is the yo-yo that's green, right? I think Mario Party. Ooh, Mario Party with like Wumba and Mog Swamp would be sick. I don't know if they have it though, but if they have it and they have the ability to play, having a Mario Party stream uh, with both of them, and of course like some more creator friends as well, that would be sick. I don't know if they have it. And I know Mog Swamp is currently playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom, so who knows? Super Mario Galaxy would be cool. I think it would also help me in designing more galaxies, you know? <laughs> or built in, the, built in the Sims. Do you love how awful it is? I have built in the Sims. I do not love how awful it is. It stresses me out. I feel so restricted. I think that's just because I play so much Minecraft where I just have, you know, that like full unending freedom as to uh i can put any block anywhere i feel like the mario horror games i mean there's uh luigi's mansion which is a horror game for children i wouldn't say that it's a horror game for me personally because it's not all that scary but hey if you're like seven or eight luigi's mansion is probably a terrifying game you're like mom dad why did you get me this i'm scared every night can't go to sleep i think there's gonna be a, a king boo under my bed or worse, that like creepy baby, which was I think the first boss of the original Luigi's Mansion. It's been a long time since I've gone through that game though, so not entirely sure if my memory is correct. Yesterday's stream was amazing. Uh, why are you feeding lies to the rest of the chat? <laughs> Yesterday's stream was eh, was okay. <laughs> the Mario Party with you, Minecraft YouTubers, yes, yeah, I think it'd be super fun. Oh. They have curved walls now, and they're so, so bad. Jesus Christ. I wonder what they're doing to make the curved walls. Is it just like point, point, and then you get to stretch like a third point to make the wall? Or do you only have like specific curves that you can work with? Like just like circular curves. Oh, curves. Or can you make like make like s curve walls and stuff be so mad about it i was just building <laughs> i just don't think it was anything particularly uh <laughs> incredible that's all well it was also a lot of water flooding which is just time consuming and then people are like hey you should use kelp and i'm like ah no stop telling me to do that i'm not going to and they're like ah, but i'm gonna tell you to do Oh, anything that I want. And I'm like, ah, I'm going to ignore you. And they're like, Wah. and I'm like, Wah. and I'm like, Wah. and it's just like that for a long time. <laughs> you don't even know how to explain. That's okay. Um, if you play Sims later or maybe tomorrow, I'll watch if you build a wall. It wasn't like the stream where you got the blue axolotl. I hated that stream so much. <laughs> I 
I don't even know if you uh, if you could fathom how much I disliked getting a blue axolotl in this game. It's so pointless. And at the end, all you have is a blue axolotl. It's not even that cool looking of an animal. Okay, it's not true. It is kind of cool looking. But like, is it substantially better than the other axolotls? Mm, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say yes. I would say no. In fact, I'd be like, yeah, it's okay. Designer of Minecraft, what would you add? Me? What would I add to the game? Like as a block or structure? A goat called Fred. Um, I would just make it so the base game uh, teleports you through end gateways in a more sensible way. But I don't think there's anything that they care to change. <laughs> a block that I would add? Um, probably. I don't have the creative menu. Um, more walls, probably. Just more walls, you know? There's not enough walls. Like, how is there only this type of prismarine wall? There's several other types of prismarine blocks, but this is the only prismarine <coughs> styled wall that you can even get. That's insanity. There's there would be great uses for dark prismarine walls. Oh, like there. Dark prismarine walls. And then we got the uh the prismarine brick walls. That would, those would be sick. But like, come on. Why not? Uh different colored slime blocks, maybe that don't stick to other slime blocks. So you're talking about honey blocks. Cause that's pretty much exactly what those are. Bring anything back into Minecraft? What would it be? What do you mean back into Minecraft? I don't know. Pray, I'm sorry you dislocated your jaw. What were you doing? Eating uh, a jawbreaker? They are called jawbreakers for a reason. You gotta be careful around those. The hard candies, that's what's gonna get you. I don't know. Anything that I would add back into Minecraft. I can't think of something that they've removed where I'm like, no, come back. Ah, other than like bugs, but those aren't really like things that they would be adding back. Uh, I guess maybe like all of the mobs that lost the mob votes. But even on that, I don't particularly care, you know. They can just not have them. I won't mind. see we got a bunch of these yeah we got our little grasses growing one thing that is super annoying is that you can only put the like little warped grasses and like the little warped weeds whatever the heck they're called uh you can only put those on the warped nylium i would make it so that those can go on like any block that would be a good change. Block, uh, you can set to stick to specific blocks, block types. No, I don't really think there's anything sticky block wise that would really be all that useful. Uh, how or why? I generally have no clue. Did it start hurting like hell for like a day. <laughs> Your jaw just was not where it was supposed to be. I don't know. I don't understand how you don't notice that faster. It's never happened to me as far as I'm aware, so. Maybe I would also not notice it all that fast. Who's to say? Oh, what? Oh, what? What is this? It's not supposed to be there. My God, everybody would come into this world, explore around and be like, oh, clearly he's an idiot. Look at this. But thankfully I caught it. Now no one, no one will know. None's the wiser. Do I like redstone? Yeah, but I don't understand it all that well. I wish I did. Should have taken a, a redstone class in college, but alas, at the school I went to, it was not an option. Still isn't, in fact. Otherwise, I'd go back. That's why I bring two horses who are under the effect of a swiftness potion. I don't want it gone. I just don't ride horses in this game because they're just not useful. An elytra is just the best form of transportation, unless we got like a whole dolphin highway. Which would be kind of fun, you know? A pretty cool dolphin highway. Which I could set up, but then the dolphins are trapped. 
I just one thing that I would really like to change about the game is having all of the different like pets in the game stop like dying or like doing things that cause them to die when they shouldn't you know that's one thing that's really frustrating about playing Minecraft you name a dolphin and then the dolphin just beaches itself and dies and you're like oh okay thanks game that's what I really wanted from my new pet dolphin was for it to just beach itself and just dry out or it's like oh you just ran away but you were gonna go get something to bring back to your dolphin friend you come back your dolphin friend is drowned because when you left it stayed underwater and never surfaced for air and I'm like that's insane why is that how the game is designed? The animals need to be slightly more intelligent. Which is why I was annoyed when everybody was like, Oh, the LA, the LA is going to be so wonderful. I'm like, no, it's not. Because the LA is going to have Minecraft level pathfinding. Which means it's going to have terrible pathfinding. <laughs> which means it's not that useful. And it isn't that useful. I never really see people being like, Oh, LA's have greatly improved my ability to play the game. You need burger in peace now? I mean, yeah, because your jaw is just popping out of place. That's not the kind of popping and locking that you want. You're supposed to be dance moves, not physical injuries. Yes, of course I do. You want me to read everything that you said uh, verbatim when you just said hi twice? And I was trying to address somebody else? Because this is probably not going to happen. I don't read literally everything, but yeah, I do read the chat. As we look like they flying on ice. What does that even mean? Because they just like kind of like slide to a stop. Does it even get fixed though? Kind of scared going to the doctors. They just take your jaw, they like shift it around and then just shove it back in. I don't know. I've never fixed a dislocated jaw. Side of my jaw was locked for a while and generally my jaw was popping when moving so maybe i just have weak jaw muscles yeah or maybe you have like low potassium or something I, you i mean you, it's definitely worth going to the doctor and being like hey what's wrong with me and they might be like hey this is what's wrong with you or they could be like we don't know that's the worst thing about going to the doctors when you're like hey i got this problem what what would you consider this problem to be and they're like mm, i don't know but that sounds like it's not fun for you and you're like, yeah, it's not fun for me. And they're like, ah, see, I knew it. <laughs> and then that's it. That's like the whole conversation. You're like, what do I do? And they're like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't tell you what to do. Go home, sleep it off. You'll be better tomorrow. Pretty much. That's how it goes. Show me what I'm making. We're making a planet toid. Yeah, so I'm just a little guy up there. Ooh. And we're just adding in little plants little plants here and there we've kind of covered this section which is what like five percent <laughs> of it uh oxbo welcome back to stream how you doing today hopefully you're doing well do some good painkillers and note for free time or something uh, that's true you you could at least have the pain subside you're generally like decent at doing that. In fact, they might over prescribe the painkillers. So it's something you should even be wary of. Make sure they're not giving you too many opiates just because you have a, a dislocated jaw. I'm sure the doctors would never. No, 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 no. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's just a little ball. It's nothing too crazy. It'll hopefully be a little bit more interesting the more we work on it, though. Uh, what animals am I going to bring to the end? Shh, I don't know. There's a good chance that it's none. Maybe glow squid. I don't know what else I would put in here. I've already brought a uh, tropical fish. I've used up all of the fences already. That's not good. That's not a good sign. <laughs> ah, well, 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 well. I guess we just have to get more. There's nothing else I can really do other than just grab more of those. Giant blue warp roots on top on the bottom of the plant. Yeah, giant blue warp roots on the bottom of the plant. Do you mean similar to this? How this has got some like stuff growing on? Or like some of these where they have a bit of a wider base like this one? 
Uh, these little warped vines right now, I'm just letting them grow. We'll get more later. Just a little ball? Yeah, it's just a little ball. Turn around and do a dance if you lose your fence. It almost rhymed. This is prescribed ibuprofen. <laughs> yeah, but then it's prescribed the ibuprofen. It'll be perfect. It's exactly what you were looking for. Where is this? Turn this into planks. Turn the planks into three stacks of fences. And I'm almost out of walls as well. This thing is going to just bankrupt me. I thought I had like, oh, substantially enough prismarine for this, but I really don't think that I do. So we got some of those, we got some of those. Yeah, okay, we can make some more shelf mushrooms too. I kind of want to put one up here. Just keep going back to the areas I've already worked on and then work on them a little bit more. <laughs> Are you late? You're never late. You just arrive when you have the time to arrive. We would never say that you're late. Let me just get around this. I mean, I, on the other hand, can be late because I have a schedule sometimes. And if I don't show up during the scheduled time, then I, I have arrived late. <laughs> but you don't need to be here. So if you arrive at any point, you've done a wonderful service to yours truly. And I appreciate it. Let's see this one. We can turn into a lovely brick mushroom. I know it's not the thing that makes like the most sense in the world, but like we, we deal with it, you know? We only have so many options as far as designs. Oh my goodness. Just let me place it properly once. One time. I, I can just leave that there. It's actually fine. You forgot your Duolingo lesson? That's, that's not good. I, I unfortunately cannot uh, assist you with that. You're just going to have to go fight the green bird yourself. I would never have skipped a Duolingo lesson. You know what he does to people? I shudder at the thought. That was me sh actively shuddering at the thought, by the way. In case you're like, oh, why did he just like kind of shiver? Like, it was not a shiver, it was a shudder. Because of how terrifying Duo is. A mega base idea for survival? If I give you a mega base idea, wh where will I be when I finish this? And I don't have any ideas. Um, You could build... Hmm. You build a giant fishing rod with a giant like a uh, bobber floating in the water and then you can have your base be in the bobber and like inside the fishing rod going all the way up like have a, the big curve to it and make it next to like a giant lake or something okay store those elsewhere and then we can place some of these stairs down my favorite movie and why? My favorite movie is probably still There Will Be Blood. Uh, the acting is top notch. It's incredible. Everybody in the movie did an amazing job. Um, and it's just a very pretty movie too. The cinematography is top notch. Which is usually one of the things I care the most about when watching a movie. Is, is it pretty? It's just a personal thing though. I, I, I don't know. I've just always kind of been that way. I like watching things that are visually appealing. Ugh. Never come up with? Why not? Why not? Or, um... You can make a giant bird cage if you're good at sculpting birds. You put a giant bird in it. And then live in your giant bird cage. Or you could be the giant bird yourself. You know? Something like that. Generally, I have things that are just like, make this thing, but big, because you want it to have a, a mega title. And generally, people are like, oh, if it says, if it's just a normal thing, but big, then it's a mega base. I'm like, okay. That works, I guess. <laughs> uh, second favorite movie would probably be Parasite, just for the same reasons as I like There Will Be Blood. The acting and uh, cinematography are impeccable. Anything else that's up there as far as movies go? I don't know. It's kind of tough choosing favorites. So why I try to avoid doing it. Favorite game and why? Come on. Come on now. You don't need to... 
you don't need to ask a question that you already know the answer to and if you're sitting there thinking to yourself ryan i don't know the answer to the question of what is your favorite game that's why i'm asking then i would say just look a little closer at your screen maybe squint your eyes a little bit maybe read the, the title of the stream look at what's happening here and maybe it'll give you some sort of idea as to what my favorite game is <laughs> uh. Favorite sibling? I would never choose a favorite sibling. You'd have to like them to choose a favorite. Ew. <laughs> yes, that is shade thrown at all of them. Get wrecked. No, I don't know. I would never choose a favorite sibling, though. That's kind of scuffed. How would the other ones feel? If you, I was just like, yeah, I just don't like you guys as much. I feel like that's just a mean thing to do. <laughs> Unless it's like, oh, three of my siblings have wronged me, but the fourth one has is, is treated me absolutely swell the whole time and has come to my defense on multiple occasions, then it'd be like, yeah, choose a favorite amongst them. Otherwise, what are you doing choosing a favorite sibling? That's just, that's just oddly kind of like petty and mean. <gasps> I'm one short? Nope. Well, we can't build any more of those for right now until we get more items. Gotta go by. Goodbye, Reformed. Have a very lovely day. It's Cross and Road, your favorite game. So one where you were like a chicken or whatever, crossing the road. That was like a super popular mobile game for no goddamn reason for quite some time. Or was it Crossy Road? What the hell was that? Yeah, it was Crossy Road because it is similar-ish to Flappy Bird. God, I I still don't understand what was up with those. There was a like a huge hype around mobile phone games in like what 2009? 2010? I feel like it was roughly around there. Maybe. Crossy Road was a fever dream. No, it wasn't. It was fun. You would tap and you would you would jump forwards. And now, like, I guess it's been adapted into an arcade uh, style game. Well, it's the same game, but it's like in an arcade situation. And you can just play it to win tickets instead of play it to waste your time. Which is a huge downgrade. Because playing a game to waste your time is a substantially better way to play a game. It was fun, but still. What do you mean, but still? That's all games really need to be at the end of the day is entertainment and if they were fun then the game succeeded as to what it set out to do unless it's like trying to be uh you know above its own pay grade i don't really think you're going to be learning any moral lessons from playing flappy bird or crossy road i don't think that's what they were made for those ones were strictly entertainment maybe a little bit of a cash grab but did you even have to pay for crossy road were there microtransactions in it? I don't know. No, I'm not going to pick a favorite mod, Frick. I don't want to make everyone other than you sad. <laughs> See what I did there? Thankfully, none of the other mods are here to, uh, to catch my joke. Except for, uh, of course, the other ones that are here. I say, I, I feel like for Flappy Bird, it was like 99 cents, you know, that you got to pay for it. But I don't think you had to pay for Crossy Road. Um, is that true? I don't know. I don't care either. Did I ever use Duolingo? Um, a little bit. Never, like, super seriously, though. Oh, I've been forgetting to do the underside of these. Mmm. That's my bad. That is my bad. Both were free to play? Ah, okay. So they were back in the golden age of mobile phone games before it was a cash grab. That's why I remember them slightly fondly. <laughs> because they didn't come for all of my money. You can buy skins and no ads. That's fine. Like that's a that's a decent 
uh, microtransaction is skins. Because that way the people who just want to play the game to have fun can just play the game and have fun. They don't have to worry about it. We need to 4K standing to other mods. Be careful. He's time from the Duolingo bird. <gasps> no. Nightbot would never. Nightbot is nice to me sometimes. You know, it really depends on the day. Sometimes Nightbot's like wanting to go for a little bout of fisticuffs. And I'm not having it. I'm like, Nightbot, why? Why can't you just be nice to me? Let's jump from up here. There we go. Massive improvement, right? Just putting one of those on. You're like, oh, the whole world is a better and happier place now. <laughs> you want to download it again? No, don't download it again. There's better games that exist now. Don't be like huffing the nostalgia too much. Okay. It's, it's good in hindsight. Okay. But if you try to go back to it, you're not going to have fun. You, you're going to be chasing the dragon for the rest of your life. Is you're never going to reach the same high as you did the first time you played Crossy Road or Flappy Bird. At least when it comes to playing Crossy Road and Flappy Bird. There are other substantially more enjoyable games to play that you can play and have fun playing. Um, but if you're like, oh, I, I want to go enjoy Flappy Bird again, you're not going to. Because it's miserable. It's, it's an absolute misery game. Don't, don't play it. <laughs> play something else. Whoop. Do Crossy Road, on the other hand. Now that one, I mean, it's going to be fun forever. All, like, the grandkids are going to be talking about the first time they ever played Crossy Road because it's going to be so ubiquitous. Not on mobile, devs rarely consider the market. Your finger doesn't do finger things? Like, you mean if your finger's broken? Go to the doctor. For some reason, most of the things people bring up in my chat are just things where the correct response on my end is to tell people to go to the doctor. I don't know why that's the case, but it is. So just go to the doctor. Favorite thing in the 120 update? It's gotta be cherry blossoms, obviously. What else could it even be? There's nothing nearly as good as the cherry blossoms. I do kind of want to put another little shelf mushroom over there. I should really spread out these decorations. You miss fidget spinners? Well, guess what? They still exist. <laughs> you can just like go get a fidget spinner if that's what you want. You know? Get yourself your doctor? I'm so not a doctor. What do you mean? Do you think I've gone through all of that schooling? No. Why would I? I went through schooling for math. Math is a lot more fun than, than doctoring. When you're doctoring, people are just like bleeding out, dying left and right. That's not what I want. I want to play games and have fun and sometimes yell at chat. And I'm doing that. And it's quite fun, to be honest. You keep barfing what you do. Uh, I don't know. Get a bucket. Stop drinking so much alcohol. You have a problem. We all know. There's a reason why this happens uh, every week when you get your paycheck and you buy a, a case of beer. Just think about it. I don't maybe connect the dots on your own end. Oh, your path is the math part. Let's go. Math is awesome. Favorite build in this world might be the end aquarium. It's like the most complete thing. Ever played Wrath? Yeah. Uh, or, I mean, no, I haven't. It does look fun though, but I haven't uh, played it. Favorite beer? I don't drink alcohol. I don't have a favorite beer. They all smell like absolute garbage. Why would I drink them? The smell of alcohol is horrendous. And the fact that most people are like, ah, drinking alcohol is an acquired taste. I'm like, this doesn't make sense to me. I would, I would never, you know? Why would I drink something that tastes and smells terrible until I just am so used to it that it's not something that's gross? Like that just seems like an absolute uh, wasted effort. Not at all, none. Literally none at any point ever. Why would I? That's just a waste of money. It's a waste of money and it's a waste of my time. I have video games to play. Why would I be drinking alcohol? That's not going to help me build things in Minecraft. Come on. We all know. Well, I mean, at least I know. Maybe some of you don't where the like real priorities in life are. And that's that's building things in Minecraft. Obviously, I felt like everybody would know this. Not even cider that's literally juice? No, if it was literally juice, you would call it juice. You wouldn't call it cider. 
So you're just not correct. I'm sorry. I had a non-alcoholic beer with raspberries on the weekend. It was surprisingly decent. I could drink it without making a face. It's good in my books. Um, like even non-alcoholic beer was just gross. Like I don't, I just don't get it. The flavor profile is not there for me. Uh, I would much rather have something fruity and like mixed with egg white to be foamy. Maybe I will actually just make some like fancy non-alcoholic drinks uh, for stream. That'd be kind of cool. What do you guys think? Should we just have a little segment where I make non-alcoholic drinks and just drink them, I guess, slowly sip them on stream? Because they're fun. Like drinks that have egg whites in them, like flips, so good. Dun, 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 dun. While we are here, favorite drink? Favorite drink of all time? Unfortunately, I would have to say the true culprit in my life is unfortunately maybe Mountain Dew Baja Blast, but I'm trying to change it to maybe like a Thimbleberry Flip. That would be probably my favorite. But if we're just going for past history, I think I've enjoyed too many Baja Blasts, unfortunately. There's just something about it. It's just the right amount of like bluish cyan food dye that it, it hits me. And I'm just like, that's what I want to drink right now. What is and was your favorite country in World War II? Stop. Don't ask such weird questions. I'm not, I'm not answering that. This is just strange. And I feel like you're just trying to start a fight. I wasn't alive during World War II. Why would I have a favorite country during it? I don't care. I wasn't there. I care about the historical implications after the fact, but I'm not going to go back in time and be like, mm, France was my favorite for X reason, you know, because like, I, gee, I don't know. I try to live in the present, probably earth. <laughs> you like code red Mountain Dew? That shit is insane. There's no way that that can be healthy to drink. It, it looks and, and feels like I'm drinking, like, battery acid. Code Red uh -uh, is not for me. I, have no, I don't know who it's for, but it's definitely not for me. <laughs> it is some wild-looking stuff. Also, it doesn't really taste that great, and it feels, at least to me, quite, like, overly carbonated. I'm not a, I'm not, not a fan of carbonation. I just think it's too much. You know, like it's a little, it's a little too spicy. Not that I would even consider like most soft drinks to be spicy, but I mean, Code Red is definitely too spicy. To get the new Zelda? Not yet. I still have to beat the first one. <laughs> so I'm not going to play uh, Tears of the Kingdom until I finish Breath of the Wild. Uh, I have one more, I was going to say Ultra Beast, but that's Pokemon. Uh, I have one more Divine Beast. There you go. And then... Uh, I have to fight uh, Ganon in like the lamest boss fight ever, and then I can get uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm not one for buying a game just because it's brand new if I still have something else that I'm working on. Like, I can just wait a little bit. I don't particularly care. It's not like there's going to be thousands of people tuning in if I started playing Tears of the Kingdom today. So it, it, there's not really a good reason to rush into it if I'm still working on the other one. Hopefully the new, um, hopefully Tears of the Kingdom, I haven't seen anything from it, uh, trying not to spoil myself, but hopefully the final boss fight is not an absolute joke because that would be really disappointing. Let's go there. Whoop. Last thing I did in Breath of the Wild, which was a while ago, was just go around and kill every single Lionel, which was kind of fun. But I did that instead of just beating the game. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know. Beating the game sometimes... Why am I just, like, misplacing everything today? Uh, beating the game sometimes is just, like, not the fun thing to do, though. Then and then it's like, hey, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to beat the game. I just want to, like, go around and fight, like, the hardest enemies in the world. And then come back. Which is why I kind of want to play Elden Ring, you know? Like, it would be fun. How often do I go to the toilet? How about this? How often do you get put into timeout? Uh, answer, not more frequently than every five minutes because that's how long the timeout is for. 
but you can just sit there and parse through why you got timed out if you need an explanation then unfortunately i think you need more than just a timeout please make korok tortured machines i don't think i would it's not really in my nature to torture helpless creatures it's kind of like a psychopath sort of thing and i don't really find myself exhibiting psychopathic tendencies i guess except for the like relative level of psychopathy one needs to talk to a internet chat all day long every day you know so like other than that i think i'm, I'm pretty pretty normal and healthy he's making stream just for fans and like just chatting a music making stream i don't know how to make music so probably not for a while if i knew how to make music sure i don't care it'd be fun uh as long as i knew what i was doing but if i don't know what i'm doing eh, probably not <laughs> have we been working on the project a couple months I've also been working on some other projects as well. So like I've been, I've been busy, I'm busy. This hasn't been the only thing I've been working on. Shit. No, no. I'm out of dark prismarine slabs. Ah. At least I can go in here and just be like, uh, scoop. And then I got a couple more. I think it was this. I'm so lost already. That's one of the problems with this. I it, find it very difficult to orient myself to like a a deformed blob oh it is over here i get all sorts of turned around but hopefully i'm adding in enough like recognizable structures so that this ends up being not a terrible place to navigate around because it currently is like near impossible can you join me no this is a single player world uh only a single player can be on it and that single player would be me and as soon as i get a girlfriend shut down the whole thing it won't work anymore and that's why I, that's why i try to avoid talking to women because i don't want i don't want the world to go away because it's only for single players see the twenty-five thousand days in hardcore movie by linksy nope um i feel like that's a lot of afk Anyways, Susan, itchy, sore throat. Have uh, cough drops. MD Robert Seven, just join the Discord. We already have a server. So as far as making one goes, no. But having one, yeah, we already have one. Don't worry about that. Like we got you covered. Oh, but if you're a Bedrock player, then we don't have you covered. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> it's just a Java server. <laughs> just take up gaming time. There's no need for them. Yeah, but I've been I've been told rumors of girls that also play games. Shocked. You know, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Not for a minute. It's impossible. Games are only for the boys. You know you join it yeah that's why i told you to join the discord so you can join it you have java let's go my mods and textures uh mods would be carpet mod continuity enhanced block entities entity texture features indium iris item scroller lambda dynamic lights light matica lithium malib minecraft base game mini hud mod menu uh pride lib a unified library for data-driven flags okay uh replay mod ryan the scone portal scone don't ask about that one sodium starlight tinted beacons tweaker more tweaker world edit zeros minimap zeros world map and texture packs uh resource packs we got lily pads remade 2d e 101.zip made by kaz the bomb we got the custom totem Rainbow Slimes, Pride Bees. I don't remember what this one actually has in there. Continuity uh, Glass. I also need to add in the connected textures for Sea Lanterns. Yeah. Who do you think is the nicest YouTuber after me? I don't know enough YouTubers to know the answer to that question. 
Maybe Dim Dam Dom. He's he's sweet. The little angel boy, that one. Rumors are rumors. Girl, no way. Game for the girls. Nah. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, though, uh, there are many, many, many women that play video games pretty much the exact same amount as men play video games. It's really weird when people uh, it's get into, um, like, eh, these games aren't for girls. It's mostly seemingly, like, the League of Legends players, the, like, just in general MOBA players and, like, FPS players. Those are the people that are, like, super weird about girls playing games. People that play, like, Stardew Valley, you know, like, actual cool, chill gamers, they're usually like, yeah, what do you mean, of course girls play games? But, like, if you're playing, like, Warzone or something, or whatever the newest uh, Call of Duty title is, there's a good chance when whatever lobby you get into is, like, 85 to 90% misogynist. They just play with hearts? Dude, you are a broken individual if that is your true response and not just the joke. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it's probably a joke, but if it isn't, go to therapy. It'll help you a little bit. It might not help enough, but it'll help a little bit. <laughs> Do I touch grass? Absolutely. I go for a two-hour walk every day. Uh, remember the secret project image? Yeah. So since this is gonna take a while, I thought I should tell you that it's gonna be a game. Hopefully, I should go through with it. Oh, uh, what is the art style for said game, pray? Mm. Mm. Hi Zebra, how's it going? Welcome to the uh, stream today. How you? H how you? How you? How me? Hopefully you're doing spectacularly. Uh, or just okay. That also works, you know? You don't have to be uh, top of the top, cream of the crop every single day. Uh, you can have bad days, you can have off days. But uh, always when you're in stream, hopefully I can make your day a little bit better. If not, well, that sucks on my part. I clearly, clearly didn't do my job well enough. You can't join the Discord? That's not something that I can help you with. Play any other game except for Minecraft? <laughs> no, that's Cap. I don't know. I haven't seen you outside. Uh, it's a joke. I am a girl. Hey! You could just be a lesbian dealing with the fact that all the women are breaking your heart, you know? That's why I'm like, I gender-wise, it doesn't matter. You could just be you could just be a hurt individual. <laughs> but if you aren't, I mean, congrats. <laughs> there are some people that are uh feeling quite melancholic uh over lost loves and relationships that they've built up in their own mind that don't actually exist very sad people they come in the chat every now and then and they're like hey my girlfriend just left me because i called her a bitch what do i do and i'm like well maybe you should just be like a nicer person and not call people that you know and they're like ah, i can't and i'm like okay goodbye and they're like i'll see you next time okay thanks i never know what to do with those people <laughs> they they're very strange. <laughs> uh, it looked like Mog Swamp. Why, thank you, Nick. I've gotten that a, a lot, in fact. There was a time period in which I had more subscribers than Mog Swamp did, and people were telling him that he looked like me. Shocking how uh, that works out. It's almost like we look like each other to a degree. He looks cooler, though. What are we making? Making a planet. We're decorating it. I'm thinking about you. You stream two days in a row. I mean, I uh, I usually stream like six days a week. Just for the past two weeks, I've been busy doing other stuff. Uh, and I'm trying to just get back into that schedule thing. Extremely boomed. Yeah, I mean, that, I would say that too. I would use probably like more sophisticated verbiage, but like, I agree with the general premise of what you're saying. What free cam mod is this? This is part of Tweakeroo. Uh, Tweakeroo in general, just one of the best mods of all time. Something that I do want to make a video about, but I also got to make the Lightmatica tutorial video first. Like a man with a beard. 
I know I gotta get rid of the beard. Ugh. You see the Markiplier? I got that uh, a lot when I was at PAX East when I was in high school. Probably because a good portion of the people at PAX East uh, were going there to see Markiplier. And I had no idea who he was, but like people stopped me like every uh, every so often while I was at the convention. And they were like, oh, hey, you, you look like Markiplier. Did you know that? And I was like, the first several times I was like, no, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Um, and then after a while, I was just like, yeah, I get that because I had been getting that for quite a bit. Imagine going to PAX East. Hey, it was fun. It was a, a fun road trip for a high schooler. You get to drive around with friends and then you get to play video games in Boston. Like, it's cool. Do I know a cookie god? Not personally. Uh, as as the stream. I hope you're doing good. I am doing good. I, hopefully you're doing good as well. And Julia, thank you. Um, a cookie god is another Minecraft person. I do know that. Um, just today, somebody was like, Ryan, I hope this stream is lit because I stopped watching. What was it? I stopped watching. No, not Brock and the cookie god to watch you. And I was like, okay. Um, I'm sorry if I disappoint. I think it was something like that. I don't remember. But I've heard of a cookie god in that context. How do I get out? What do you mean? You said, hi, do you get out? And then you said, how do you get out? I don't know what you're actually asking me. You're saying like, do I go outside? Or like outside of this glass bubble? I like... Nah, ellipses, you're just as entertaining. The like, ellipses makes it seem like you disagree. <laughs> Oh, of the planet? I mean, I could show you. It's been a while since we've shown people. Is it this one? No, this is that other little tiny cave. It should be, ow. It, ow. Around here somewhere. Is it this one? No. I'll find it, don't worry. It's... Oh, was it that? Um, oh, it's this one. Okay, so there's a little end portal here. And then when we go through the end portal or end gateway, sorry, we want to be correct in the things that we're saying. We end up, <gasps> no, don't go through that. Lily, get out of there. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, busy. That's a pretty good one. Busy bee. Okay. <laughs> Then we end up at the end aquarium, you know, our little, our little toroidal donut over here. And then we're like, ah, I want to go to dimension one. And then we end up in dimension one. And that's how we get in and out. So that way we never have to leave the planet. We can just teleport to our new dimension and out of our dimension. And that's like kind of how it goes. Uh, have you killed the warden? Uh, not in this world, but I did on like one of the first couple of days in my super flat world twice, but I haven't killed it in hardcore because I'm still on 118 too. I haven't updated to 119 and I'm probably going to skip it and just go to 120. So that way I can get camels. Everybody's favorite. I'm going to get a camel and name it Joe and it'll be a great influence on all of the kids. How long am I live for? Uh, today it'll probably be like two hours. Not a terribly long time. Try and be killed by the warden. Oh, are you talking about in the uh, the Discord server SMP? Because that is correct. <laughs> you can work out how many camels you are worth. I'm worth a lot of camels. I do want to get a mod that uh, makes it so when you kill a camel, it drops a water source block. Because that's funny. You know, like that's a good joke. It wouldn't be useful really but like i think it would be kind of kind of funny you know if you're like oh it's just full of water that's what happens <laughs> and, if, and then it dies from fall damage and then there's like a little puddle at the bottom that would be cool this was 66 and it was over 500k i could make in camels ruby i have no idea what you're talking about so <laughs> you read the Shorts and said you live to check it out. What happened? Uh, 
what happened is you made a, a lovely decision. We're working on b -b -b a, our, a new dimension. One of 20. It's going to take a long time to make all 20. My guess is like two and a half years. Maybe. It's going to be a long-term project. It would If I did it all in creative mode, it would take me maybe like three months to design them all. And that would be it. <laughs> it would just be done. But placing every single block to build them is uh, time consuming, I think is the best way to put it. It consumes my time and like my energy. Okay. <sighs> Caught it. I heard the little telltale like whoop of catching it. Because it tells you how many camels you're worth and you look up how much a camel is worth and then Times them and see how much you No, I understand that you're I understand what you're saying, but I just like I don't know what you're saying. Like, what do you mean you're worth 66 camels that's worth five hundred thousand dollars? I feel like you don't have the net worth of 66 camels. I'm sorry. I feel like you you don't have that. <laughs> I feel like you don't have the labor value of 66 camels. I'm sorry. I just I don't see it. What are you doing to uh, generate this value? Hi, Tony. You do? You literally do? If you have 66 camels of value, you should gift like a hundred subs right now. There's I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Matthew. Have a lovely day. Place a water source instead of dropping one when it dies? No, that's what I mean. Like, it drops one by like, it's, it sets one where it died. You sold yourself to a camel farmer. They give you 66 camels and I would sell them for 500k. That's not. That doesn't make any sense. Why? If they're selling you 66 camels and buying a human being, they are not a camel farmer. There's somebody that uses camels as a currency to just like buy slaves. That does not make any sense. Ruby, you're coming in with like the most out of pocket stuff. Like every time you show up to stream, it's entertaining to say the least, but I don't, I can't say that I understand where it's coming from most of the time. <laughs> I don't know what the the conversation is. 66 camels way better than any human. I know, right? Imagine trying to have like one human help you get through the desert. Like, eh, whatever. But like 66 camels help you get through the desert so much better you could also just eat them if you got really hungry and if you're saying ryan how could you eat just one of the camels that's helping you across the desert uh i respond with there's 66 of them i think the other 65 will be fine if we make it 500 000 to my family while i vibe in the desert sounds like a plan yeah no don't uh, don't buy and sell people ruby you get much higher Camels taste better than humans, too. I mean, I've never eaten a human, and I don't really plan on it, so I'll take your word for it that the camels taste better than people. Ah, uh, I can't reach either of those. Well, now I definitely can't reach either of them. I just want to put a little light. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine. Let's find people for camels. I don't know, psychopaths? Criminals, probably. The better question is why would anyone use a camel as a currency? That just doesn't make sense. See you again, Ryan and chat. Oh, Phil, you, uh, you doing good? You doing wonderful? I'm sorry, I just had to like read chat real quick. <laughs> you doing well, welcome. You're late and confused. Liz, why are you confused? Camels don't leave a paper trail. See, you say that, but then also you can't just like if you if someone was like, hey, I'm going to I'm going to sell you something for like 30 camels. And I'm like, all right, yeah, or they're going to buy something from me for 30 camels. I'm like, hey, you can take this cute little figurine of my Minecraft character uh, and they'll give me 30 camels for it. Yeah, the camels themselves are not a paper trail, but how am I supposed to get the camels here? How am I supposed to take care of all of the camels? You know? There's going to be a paper trail when I'm just saying like, oh, I need to pay for the shipping of the camels. And then we got to get like a little, 
uh, it, yeah, there's there's a paper trail involved with the camels, even though the camels themselves are not a paper trail because they are camels. There's still gonna be there's still gonna be traces of the transaction. It's really I'd say it's easier to hide a million dollars in cash than it is to hide sixty six camels, which is apparently half a million dollars in cash. So a uh, hundred and thirty two camels. Come on, it's definitely easier to just hide money. Nobody's reasonably using camels as currency. I think the entire premise of this conversation that we're having is stupid. I'm in your bedroom. You think I have a 66 camel bedroom? You're insane. <laughs> Which one do I think is the best of all of those? The last airbender, obviously. It's visually the best and story wise, it is also the best. Here, let me list off the flaws that Avatar The Last Airbender has, okay? Uh, one, it ended, okay? Two, unfortunately, they let uh, he who will not be named make a movie in the same universe. There you go. The end. <laughs> the space for 66 camels in your bedroom? I don't think that's how that works. Do you think that Elon Musk has space for like, uh, I don't know, like a million camels or some shit? I don't think so. I don't think you understand what these valuations truly mean. You can't just use camels as a unit of measurement. It's it's nonsense. You're not worth 500,000 pounds. You're worth camel. I can't help you. I'm <laughs> Ruby, you're worth more than camels. You're worth, like, uh, saying hello to when you pop into stream. And isn't that all that really matters? The camaraderie. Elon would be worth hella camels. I would literally rather have a camel than Elon Musk. I don't think the camels are going to uh, destroy Twitter. I don't think they have that capability. Imagine just like spending billions of dollars to just destroy an internet company because you're petty and you want to be a memer, but no one likes you because you're not funny. You'd rather be worth an elephant? I'd rather have an elephant than be worth an elephant. Ruby started it, I think, or maybe I started it by talking about camels in the 120 update. So maybe it is my fault if we really like you know, dig down and find the root of all evil here. I think it might actually be myself. And that's quite unfortunate because I usually try to not be the root of all evil. Just like on, on a given day, I'm like root of all evil kind of day. Eh, no, 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 no. You heard camels and came flushing back. Okay. And I blame myself. It's definitely my fault because I, I, well, no, it's whoever asked me about the 120 update. I'm blaming them. I, I'm wiping my hands clean of this mess. It was not me. I would never, I would never bring it up. My favorite animal, uh, the common barn owl. It's beautiful. It would be a terrible pet, which is why I would never want one as a pet. Though, it would be cool to have like a friend own like a bird sanctuary and have a barn owl. That way I could go visit the barn owl, but I don't have to like, take care of it myself because I'm not capable of doing so because it's a wild animal and I have absolutely no qualifications to take care of said wild animal but I do think they're very pretty so like if my if I had a friend that like had a barn owl and they were like qualified to take care of it that would be pretty cool I would be a huge fan of that you hate owls why because you're still stuck in the like 12 year old Harry Potter mindset of them being like uh, the end of school tests and then being stressful and impactful on your future wizarding career. Because that's ridiculous. That's not what they are at all. You got to stop living in fantasy land. You never watched Harry Potter, then you don't get the joke. <laughs> that's your first message in this chat. Congratulations. It's not anything bannable, which is the only reason I bring it up is because there's an oddly high like proportion of people that pop into chat and their very first thing that they say is something controversial where I'm like, hey, I'm going to ban you. Not just like controversial, but like heinously controversial. But yours was just like, 
I'm here, yay, hello world. And I'm like, that's a good one. That's a good first message in chat. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Charles, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? I think a white owl would be cool, like a snowy owl. That's why people don't like newts. But why do people not like newts? Just waffling, I don't know how I made it this long. What do you mean? You don't know how you've made it this long. These porn pots haven't been around for a while. So true, Ryan. So true. I think I haven't seen them in like months at this point, which is spectacular. I haven't seen them in so long. I've forgotten they exist. That's crazy. It's like that other thing that I would say if I remembered its existence. Just think about it. There's a joke in there somewhere. It was this one. There you go. We'll put the six back in there. And then we'll keep going around and setting down all of our plans. Oh, this whole area looks dead. We got to get some lights in here. The fruit. The fruit of all of the reeds. We just need a little here and there. Otherwise, the whole area does look a little deathly ill. And we don't want that. I also can't reach the top of that. So the tallest ones are not going to get... The little endrod fruit flowery treatment. I don't know what you'd even call it. Newts are in seventh year. Owls are in fifth year. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I do not remember that well. Why can't I see chat and how to remedy this? Maybe F5. Just doing a little refresh. Looks pretty manageable if that's how it's spelled. The gravity on this planet. It is pretty manageable. And that is how you spell gravity, and it is how you spell manageable, I believe. I had to vote because I couldn't see the option to hide the poll. It should just be like a little set of three dots, I think, in the upper right hand corner, but I don't remember explicitly off the top of my head. So that could be wrong. Well, since you've watched uh, just Harry Potter. One thing that I was, like, disappointed in when it came to, like, Harry Potter universe stuff, besides, like, everything related to, uh, J.K. Rowling, <laughs> uh, was that Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was, like, okay. I wanted it to be better. But the true, like, I think most heinous Harry Potter-related thing is definitely the fact that the Cursed Child exists, because that is, like, absolutely just garbage dog water writing that shouldn't exist it's so bad there are so many fan fictions of the harry potter world that are like a trillion times better than a cursed child it's it's a sad sad joke you know i i find it ridiculous but there are more mods here well at least i'm always here i fun to be sure to behave i thank you for it. have a very lovely day show your stats sure um I have almost killed 10 million mobs. I don't think I've killed them yet. Yeah, we're close. 9,993,464. Almost to 10 million, but I have dropped one and a quarter million items. That's ridiculous. If only I had a dollar for every mob that I've killed. I know. We're lacking. We haven't even combined, like, got anything near a million as far as mining solid blocks go. Only like 969 nice million. If I watch anime, uh, of course. I'm cultured. Why would I not watch anime? Have you seen My Idol's Child? Well, first question, do you watch anime? And then if the answer is yes, have you seen the first episode of My Idol's Child? It's, it's incredible. It's, it's one of the most insane things I've ever watched in my life. Do I know Jesus? Or are you saying Jesus? Is there a Minecraft YouTuber named Jesus? That I should know of? How old am I? Too old. And I'm only getting older. <laughs> you tried watching anime once, never could get into it? Well then you've never... <laughs> then, then of course you couldn't get into it if you only watched it once. This is a footy player? Is that your way of saying football? Because that's weird. You never got into Fantastic Beasts? It was like, okay. It wasn't that great. It had Ezra Miller in it as a kid with problems. The 
Just wait. Just wait. Do I know God and Jesus? Why are you asking me, MD Robert Seven? You found a skeleton spawner? What country am I from? What country do you think I'm from? God's been one of the most loyal followers I've ever had. We appreciate God around here. Because God appreciates me. <laughs> Canada, obviously. You think I'm from Canada? I don't believe you that you think that. Do I seem Canadian? I guess I'm up there as far as like latitudes go. Suck it, recognizing accents. I mean, I'm from the Great Lakes region, so that's like close to Canada. But no, I am uh, American. Yeah, from Michigan. But I was born in Wisconsin, so am I from Wisconsin? Chat, I've asked this question on many a stream. And of course, I'll ask it again, because I always find it an interesting one. Would you say that you are from where you are born or where you grew up? Which, which would you say? Feel free to answer. <laughs> but he is what you call soccer? Yeah, that's what I thought. Very interesting. I would never call soccer footy. I would maybe call it football, but I'd never call it footy. That just sounds too much like footsie. I'm like, that's entirely different. <laughs> where you grew up, both. Where you were born, where you were born. It's always interesting because there are people that identify... I, I think it just comes down to like an individual basis uh, in most cases. There are people who are like, I really identify with the town that I was raised in. And there are people that are like, I really identify with where I grew or where I was born, even though I never lived there. I was just born there and then we moved to the US, but I still very much feel like I am from X country kind of deal. I'm from where I grew up and then I say I was born well where I was born. Okay. Born and raised in the same place. <laughs> so both where you grew up. Yeah, that usually seems to be what most people say. You're so confused as, as an Australian. What do you mean? What is confusing to you? Soccer isn't the right way to address the godly sport. My God, I don't think any of the sports are godly sports. I think they're just they're just games. Uh, I would never like put one sport as being the most superior of all sports. They're just. They're just different. Some are more fun to play than others, depending on who you are. Have you ever been jump scared in Minecraft? Of course I have. Uh, one time I was playing hardcore Minecraft and I exploded. That was kind of jump scary. Because everything went kaboom. It was very loud. The initial creeper hiss just didn't hit. That explosion though? Definitely thought about that for some time afterwards. Soccer and football need to trade names. I mean, just in the US. Rest of the world's got it down fine. Oh. Football is superior. Um, that's very unfortunate, but I would have to uh, disagree with you. As someone that's played pretty much every sport, the only sport that is the best is whatever sport you feel like playing at the time. Some people like swimming, some people like uh, skiing for like five kilometers and then shooting a rifle and then skiing some more, which I've never really understood, but like they love it and it's their favorite thing in the whole world. So for them, it's the best sport. Uh, there's only one sport, which is like objectively the worst sport, and that would be American football. It sucks. It's not fun to play. It's incredibly boring to watch. Uh, it's, it's just all around. It's just trash game. You don't like sports? Yeah, it's fine. You watch Breaking Bad? Yes. I haven't finished Better Call Saul yet. I'm on the last season. I got like, what, like six more episodes or something? Most of the world watches football. You gotta be talking about soccer. Because if we're talking about American football, then no, most of the world does not watch American football. But if you're talking about soccer football... Which unfortunately, this is like an America-centered stream because I myself am American. Uh, so that's where we're coming at this 
uh, like, you know, language wise. So if you say soccer, if you say football in the chat here, we're just talking about American football. I'm sorry. That's just the way it's got to be. Otherwise, I'm just getting confused all the time. Rugby is bad too. Rugby is more entertaining to watch than football is. At least they've got that going for it. I don't particularly care for rugby, but like, it's at least quite a bit better than American football. You refuse to address it as soccer? Okay. Power to you. You think soccer is kind of boring? Then don't watch it and don't play it. There's other things to do. You can play video games. You could read books. What do you think when I first encountered the warden? I thought it was boring. I just killed it and I moved on. What's American football? Just football. <laughs> you know, tossing around the old pigskin. That's American football. That's that's all it is. How full is the vault already? It's completely empty. I have not uh, worked on it yet because I'm still trying to finish the planet. When we finish the planet, we'll go to that other side quest and then we'll finish that up and then we'll get back to making another dimension. Is it different to AFL? AFL is just one of the football leagues. It's the what American Football League. And then there's the NFL, which is the National Football League. So different. No, but also, yes, it's just a subsection of it. I'm bullying in other sports. I'm not. Oh, but bullying other sports is a hobby. Yeah, I, I get that you want to be the contrarian here. <laughs> what day is it? It is day 4,841. I'm assuming we'll get to day 5,000 before we're done with this build. It's going to take a while. <laughs> it's just a lot of placing fences and the uh, walls. And then, of course, we get to go in later and add in more different types of plants. But I just need to get the the grass in. Sadly, I can't bone meal this area and have all of these just sprout up or like place one block and then grow it from that like a separate kind of structure similar to a tree from a sapling. I have to sadly place every single block in it. So it just takes a while. Was it day 3800 a couple weeks ago? Yes, probably. Um. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun. Um, da, 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 da. If you really feel like you're watching, feel like you can watch the highlights after the match. I you got I don't know. I think at this point there's so many people talking about different footballs that I just need context into what you're saying. <laughs> but I mean, for any sport, you can just watch the highlights afterwards. If spectating is really not for you, like for how it is. For me or how it is not for me i don't know i don't like watching sports it's really boring i definitely prefer playing sports to watching sports playing sports just i don't know it's not really that entertaining to me Oop. there we go little reads here and there now imagine if i change my mind and i don't like these and i come back and i destroy all of them that'd be insane i know cookie god were you not the one that just asked that a little while ago? I could have sworn it was you and not a different person. No is still the answer. Or like F1. Is that one of the, uh, we made a car and we drive around in a car? Is that F1? Is American football different to Australian football? I have no idea what the Australians play. It could be. Oh, is that what you meant by AFL? Is it Australian Football League? Formula One? Yeah, so it's just we made a car, car go faster than normal car, and we go on roads that only we are allowed to go on uh, when we're driving fast in our cars that are made to go fast. Yeah, I, I find that to be incredibly boring as well. Oh, somebody's driving a car. Ooh. I don't know. I don't really get excited when I look out the window and see cars driving on the street. I wouldn't really get that excited if they were going a bit faster. It's not that interesting. It's also seemingly just quite a massive waste of resources. 
but that's just me coming at it from a I care about the environment perspective when it comes to just a sporting perspective it's like it's just really boring to watch Australia is a scary place is that just because of all of the things that are there that can kill you with ease they got a lot of deadly animals which is pretty cool from what from this angle at least <laughs> you said from this angle at least was there a previous message from Roan no Rowan, what are you talking about <laughs> you know <laughs> why those are the people that I think that confuse me the most in chat when they just say something just fully out of context. Why is the bot named Nightbot and not Daybot? Because most uh, Twitch streams happen later on in the evening rather than early in the morning, is my guess. Uh, I don't know. Somebody had to name it something. A new question? Okay. Uh, what to, or are you saying for the poll? Nah, because stream's going to end in like 19 minutes, so it's fine. But as far as other, like, questions to chat about, uh, sure. What is one food in Minecraft that you've never eaten? I'll go first. Beetroot soup. He goes, why would you? Pronounce Ren. Oh, okay. So just silent O, by the way. Like Ren, but with an E. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce Ren. I just didn't realize that the O in your name was just a silent letter. How's your PC? I like it. Um, but what are you talking about when you said from this angle at least? What does that mean? <laughs> that's what's that's what's confusing me. No, your name is not confusing. The other thing's confusing. From that angle, at least. From what angle, at least? <laughs> I just want to know. What are you What are you saying? Take the clock back and don't end. Uh, no, I'm gonna end because I have other things to do today. Up oh, there we go. Sorry, mate. No, I don't want apologies. I want context. You don't need to apologize. Just tell me what you're talking about. Please. <laughs> What's my favorite food IRL? Um, favorite food IRL is really tough. I don't know. It depends on the day. Could be any different type of curry or pasta or like sushi it's just it's too varied I, my favorite thing about uh food is the variety of it he's filtering out the youtuber's name okay hey yeah i don't understand maybe i don't know what you're talking about you never ate a chorus root really ever but they're fun to just like teleport you around no, I'm not going to say your name just because you told me to say your name. I'm sorry, you're getting put in time out. It's one of my like biggest pet peeves is people that pop into chat and are like, say my name. I want to be center of attention. Let me be center of attention. And I'm like, I don't know if you've ever been into a stream before, but that's not like the proper stream etiquette. You pop in a stream, you say hi, and I'll probably read your name when I respond to you. So that way, you know, I'm responding to you. But if you just pop in and you go, say my name, say my name, I'm like, this is not a god. I really wish I could pull up that reference. Is that a Rihanna song? Say my name, say my name. Is that Beyonce? I don't know. It's 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 somebody. <laughs> but yeah, no, not proper etiquette. Uh, don't do that. You've been eating suspicious stew of poison. Hmm. I mean, that makes sense. Don't know why you would unless you're like going for some sort of uh like custom achievement to eat all of the suspicious suspicious stews and these, these kids who are begging to say their name that's what i'm talking about uh least favorite food is lasagna lasagna is not my least favorite food but it is pretty much not a spectacular food it's like vola's favorite food or something right vola aren't you like a or i don't know if it's your favorite food but you're a big lasagna fan at least Maybe it is your favorite food. 
you in some way are passionate about lasagna. It's Destiny's child. So that would be Beyonce's that Beyonce then, right? Cause she was in Destiny's Child? Like that was where she started out? What's lasagna? I can't. I'm sorry. I can't I can't help you with that. I'm getting filtered out so I can't say the name. Okay, you're talking about a YouTuber. So just like just say just say YouTuber to just be the fill in the blank for whatever YouTuber you're talking about. And what do you mean from this angle at least? What you're saying I look like a YouTuber from that angle? Wait, fucking what you oh you're saying i are you saying that i look like a youtuber to you youtuber markiplier you couldn't just type markiplier it like was deleting your message that doesn't make any sense that's crazy my hair is also like just going all over the place are you being forced into loving lasagna <laughs> is vola not responding anything about the lasagna Bull said, Renny, hollow, small, cheeser. And then didn't say anything else. Yeah, I filtered it out. I don't know. That is weird. I, you're saying it fine now. I don't, I, I don't think anybody was filtering it out. Maybe uh, it was just a YouTube and thing. The one YouTuber I mod for, Ryan the Scion. That's crazy. That's almost like, that's me, Renny. Almost. Not entirely. Just almost. You such and such, you so and so. Yeah, I don't know why you couldn't just like type his name for a little bit there. That was weird. I'm sorry that that happened to you. <laughs> or did it happen again? <laughs> uh, I listen to most music. I just don't listen to like uh, modern country music. Vola, do you like lasagna? We just need an answer. I thought you loved lasagna, but now I'm unsure. I, I asked and then you never responded. Hey, Slim. I keep, <laughs> keep sending you messages, but you, you ain't answering me. I remember I told you about getting an MRI of my brain. Results came back normal. Hey, let's go. Congrats on having a normal brain as far as an MRI is concerned. Or not congrats if you had a problem and you're like, oh, it should be able to be found on the MRI. Then like, ah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, it would have been nice to, to have something show up. And then you'd be like, ah, there's just a there's just a legion on my prefrontal cortex. That's why I keep acting out in class or something, you know, like it's just it's nice to have knowledge uh, when you're looking for answers. So I could understand why having a normal brain could be something frustrating um in this case but hopefully you're happy with the news that uh your brain is good i'm gonna figure out what is filtered out okay <laughs> let me know when you find it a few times uh, you have a loving person without you answering so you're being forced on as a joke oh is volo just not listening but just type it in chat anyways <laughs> The disc tear in my back isn't stopping me from normal stuff for a while, but it's almost healed. Well, sorry that you had a disc tear, but I'm glad that it's healing up for you. Noah, what? Uh, wait, oh, I'm happy, yes, but also sad because I don't really have any answers. Ta! See, I knew it! SCP? Yes, I have heard of the SCP stuff. Um, See, I knew that it would be like sad, happy news. Like, you don't want to be going in, getting an MRI, and they're like, hey, you got, like, stage 17 brain cancer. Uh, say goodbye to your loved ones in the next three seconds because you're going down the drain right now. Um, but also, like, you know, it's the upside of, hey, there's nothing here that's, like, clearly blatantly wrong. Then you're also like, I don't know what's going on, you know? And that's a little frustrating. Gotta go now. Goodbye, Phil. Have a very lovely day. Maybe we'll see you at the next stream tomorrow. If there is one. How much longer inside the beans? I don't know what you're talking about. Do I like cheese? I like cheese, yes. <laughs> and Ren, you don't have to apologize for the random messages. I understand what you're trying to do. The SCP in the IKEA with a faceless face. With a faceless face? Sounds like a face to me. You know? 
Sounds very face-like. Aww. Uh. Okay, I want to put a light on this one. And then I'll also put a little light on this one. This one's gonna be like a little tiny one that still has a light. Around yay, around the same time? Yeah, it'll probably be around the same time. Unless something else comes up. I don't currently have a schedule. That's just like my general plan is to just be streaming for a bit tomorrow. You also need to go. Goodbye, Pikachu Coffee. Have a very lovely day. I was making you laugh about uh, making you laugh about what? There's no jokes here. This is a very serious stream for serious people. How dare you insinuate that there could be potentially humor? No, 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 no. This is only serious discussions about the world's most serious game, Minecraft. We would never, we would never tell jokes. No one would laugh. That's not what is happening. Serious, very thoughtful discussions is what's happening. That's, that's all. Did we get, we didn't get a Vola response yet. But like Minecraft? No, I hate this game. It is a waste of my goddamn time. I just want to do other things, but it just keeps, it keeps pulling me back in. I want to go outside. I want to frolic in the fields. I want to, I want to feel the grass on my feet. I want to breathe the fresh, crisp spring air. But no. I'm stuck here indoors playing Minecraft. Come on. What's going on? Put an alien structure in there. <sighs> exactly. Have any of you ever seen Alien Covenant? That's one of my all time favorite movies. It's really good. Instead of touching grass, I'm inside and I'm made in this. No. I'm, but at least that way I can relate to all of the uh, the viewers of the stream, so that's helpful. <laughs> Fresh crisp spring air because spring air makes me unable to breathe, so I feel you. <laughs> no, Brenna, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go outside and breathe the fresh the fresh crisp spring air. I was just making a joke. I'm sorry you have allergies, or you're just allergic to the air. Um, you're just allergic to the air itself. That doesn't make sense. You'd, you you definitely would have died uh, shortly after being born. And when you were first introduced to, like, diatomic oxygen. But, like, the seasonal allergies, uh, I understand. That's, that's a bitch. You got a runny nose. You're sneezing all the time. It can't be fun. It can't be. No, 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 no. I can't. I, I wouldn't imagine it would be. Air is overrated, uh, says someone who's never breathed fresh, crisp spring air on a lovely May uh, 16th morning. You're at work outside all day. What do you do uh, for work? You uh, mowing lawns? Just uh, you a gardener? That would be sick. Dude, gardening is awesome. Oh, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> working doing what? <laughs> I understand that you are working doing work, but like that's not really telling me all that much of anything. If you want to keep it yourself, that's also fine. But if you're just like, ah, I just want to be cheeky, then it's like, okay. But like, still answer the question. You have to be outside with your dogs during the day? That sounds awesome. Being a gardener would make you sick? Yeah, I mean, if you in general have pollen allergies, <laughs> it wouldn't go very well. I feel like bees can't be allergic to pollen. Because if they were allergic to pollen, I think they just wouldn't function as bees and they would just end up dying. Because, you know, they don't have, like, the support structures in their society to deal with a bee that can't deal with pollen. It's unfortunate, but, like, bee society is strict. They don't help those bees that are lagging behind. Well, uh, this shouldn't go there. This should go there. And then we can build up from this. That's why we start doing hardcore vids along with other YouTubers. Any tips for making hardcore vids? Just have fun with it. Um, For me, it's like come up with an idea for a project, work on that project, and then retroactively go back and think, ah, shit, I just spent like two months doing this. I got to make this into a good video. Uh, So don't do it like I do it. Do it like the other people do it. They seem to have a plan beforehand like have a thumbnail before they even start kind of deal i'm like that's wacky and like have a script before you go into it so it's like all fully fleshed out and planned and you're like oh i know it's gonna be an absolute banger 
Whereas I sit down and I'm like, you know, it'd be fun making a big old, making a big old like bubble. And then I sit down and I make a big old bubble. And then like in a couple weeks, I'm going to be like, well, God damn, what do I do now? <laughs> I, I don't know. Ink killer. Welcome to the stream. Have you ever played? Uh... Oh, what is it? Something in the ink machine? Not like Blinky in the ink machine. What is it? Have you, ever, have you played the ink machine game? <laughs> What's it called? Duh. Does it rhyme? Something in the ink machine. Bendy. Is Bendy in the ink machine? Have you played Bendy in the ink machine? Ink killer? It doesn't rhyme. <laughs> That's why I was confused. I was trying to think of rhyming words. And it's not one of those. No, wait, no Splatoon 3 plus Bendy? Wait, what? I don't do any work in the nest anyways, but as a female bee, I'd be excommunicated. <laughs> oh. You'd have to go live outside and eat something? I don't know. What would you as a bee eat? I mean, you could just not be a honey bee. You could be other types of bees. There's got to be other bees, you know? <gasps> Welcome back to the stream, Peggy. Something fun, but when you try to run away, it gets chaotic. Wait, what gets chaotic when you try to run away? Platoon 3, Mom Nintendo. Bewick, Excommunicado. <laughs> Come on. Have I played Luigi's Mansion 3? No, I haven't. <laughs> Uh, did you just building a house and I was worried about how I'd edit it after replay mod good. Yeah, replay mod is the lifesaver. Do replay mod recordings of like all of the important things you build and then you'll probably be able to make a, a banger video if you can learn to edit. Bwick strikes back. Can we watch John Wick 3 soon? Um Maybe tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know how tomorrow's gonna go, but that's more reasonable than today. Today, I don't think so, but maybe tomorrow. Did I answer though? I don't think Vola did answer about whether or not Vola likes lasagna. Ah, uh, you like my shorts? Why, thank you, Electrico. I appreciate it. They take me like three to four hours to make. So they're pretty time consuming. You didn't mean today? I didn't. Okay. I just wanted to give you an answer. So what I was thinking, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't even consider for a moment which day would work out best for you. I was immediately going off of what days work and do not work for me. It was going from a completely selfish uh, standpoint. <gasps> Pepino's, Pepino Spaghetti, welcome to the stream. How are you doing, Pepino Spaghetti? <laughs> Hello, Cookie. Welcome, welcome. You guys, I'm I'm sad to say, but you are definitely on the later side of stream today. The stream is going to be ending in the next roughly minute. But if you want to come back tomorrow for more stream, where we'll be working on the hardcore world some more, you can show up then. It would be a longer stream, but I'm like recording other things as well today. So I have to do those stuff. And I have to work on some other annoying things on the side. There's just a lot for me to do, which means stream is a bit shorter. <laughs> Rip in peace us. I mean, we'll be there. You'll be here tomorrow, you know, if you want to come back. I end stream, you'll do stuff. Then go do stuff, Spike. You don't have the option to become a member in your country or just are you on an iPhone watching on the YouTube app? Because, yeah, then you wouldn't have the option. If you're an iPhone watcher, then you would need to go on Safari and request the desktop version. Or just go on like any computer or any phone that is not an iPhone. That's really like the only place where you're like not allowed to have the option. Unless you're in a country in which you don't have the option. And then for that, I guess VPN. Other than that, I don't really know. I still have Flatline SB. Oh, I thank you. I again the green dye. It was funny. I mean, you may think it was funny. To me, it was just a living hell. We were like, oh, we just have a mountain with holes in it just waiting luck and it was terrible it was not a fun time <laughs> we got like all of the other things that we could ever want from the wandering trader 
leading up to that, but it was just a absolute slog waiting for him to give us green dye. We still don't have cactus though. So we can't make a bunch of things out of like cyan. Well, we can make a bunch of things out of cyan color stuff. Can't make a bunch of like green stained glass though. Ah. I was in stream when I joined. I think Ryan is something against me. It's so, like maybe because you keep joining stream at the time in which I am uh, ending. Am I more of an Android fan or Apple? I would never be a fan of a tech company. Uh, I have an iPhone because it was given to me as a gift. If I were to purchase a phone for myself, it wouldn't be an iPhone. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm like a fan of any other like electronics manufacturer. They're just tools and I will choose the tool that is best for me. I would never want to become a fan of any, you know, specific electronics manufacturer because then you stop having the same standards for the products and you're just like, oh, I'm a part of the Apple ecosystem. Any garbage they churn out is my favorite thing in the whole world because it's Apple. Or if you're like an Android fan, you're like, ah, oh, there's a new Android phone. I love it so much because it's Android. And I'm just like, I don't care. I just want something that's good, you know? It's it's just about tools and their functionality. That's all. And that's all for stream today. Thank you all for being here. It's been absolutely spectacular having you to chat with. You've made my day substantially better. Hopefully I provided you with the at least smallest modicum of entertainment possible. I will see some of you tomorrow. Probably not all of you, but all of you that come back. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, if you don't come back tomorrow, I won't really be bothered because you can come back the day after. So don't worry about it. Uh, and yes, Ren, I am still on 118. All of you have a very, very lovely day. You've been spectacular. But for now, good bye. See you on the next